For those of you who weren't in class today, this is um, going to go through with you how to answer the two NCEA questions at the end of the Springs and Energy slide deck. So the first question is 2017 question 2C, where we have Sarah, who is a 55 kilogram athlete, and she's just landed um, a high jump. And she's landed on a mattress which has 20 springs inside of it and each spring compresses by 4.5 centimeters um, so we're given two numbers there sarah's mass and the compression of each spring so we know that the compression of each spring is given the letter x so let's write that to start with in in terms of our given x is 4.5 centimeters but centimeters are not a standard international unit so we need to change it to meters by dividing by a hundred and we get 0 0.045 meters and the other thing we're given is Sarah's mass which is 55 kilograms and whenever you're given a mass it's very easy to change that into a weight force by multiplying by 9.8 and that's it. weight force is mass times gravity. Okay, and when we do that, we get 539 newtons. Now, the interesting thing about this question, and the thing that makes it tricky, is that, that, that this 539 newtons, which is Sarah's weight force, is distributed over all 20 of the springs in the mattress. So the weight force on one spring is 539 divided by 20 because there are 20 springs in the mattress. Okay, and when we do that division, we get 26.95 newtons. That's the weight force on one spring. Now the reason we have to work that out is because we're told that one spring compresses by 4.5 centimeters. Okay. Now we need to do that in order to work out the spring constant. So the next thing we need to calculate is the spring constant which we know is positive okay so we can just use f equals kx and so we've got the 26.95 equals k times 0 0.045 okay so I'm just going to do some underlining here so it keeps it separate so we found the weight force on one spring and then we, we're just about here to find out K. So we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.045. 26.95 divided by 0 0.045 gives us K, which is 599 Newton meters. Okay. Now we've got everything we need to work out the elastic potential energy. And the formula for elastic potential energy is a half times k times x squared, which you'll get given on your resource sheet so you don't need to learn that. So it's a half times 599 times 0 0.045 squared and that gives us 0 0.61 joules and that is the elastic potential energy stored in a single spring and that question there if you manage to get it right will get you a merit in the end of your exam so the tricky thing here was to remember to divide the weight force by 20 
because the weight force of Sarah is distributed um, across all 20 of the springs in the mattress. So we need to find the, um, the amount of weight force that one spring experiences before we can calculate the spring constant. So there's quite a bit of work in that question for a merit.